Hiya, how we doing? Second t-shirt. See, I've got more than one. I was a bit short on time tonight, so as you may have noticed, I'm clean shaven. I've already shaved. However, it's been videoed. So, tonight's shave was inspired by Lewis Whitney. Lewis has been a good friend to the channel, really. He sent me, he sent me a soap from the States, which was great, great, which I used a while back. And he sent me some blades. Uh, he also likes Wickham 1912. So, what's not to like? And he wanted to see. Well, I asked if it would be possible for me to use Buddha wood, which is a 1912 soap made for and exclusively available from the groom room in Dundee. The scent notes on this are rose or tall, ginger, sandalwood, oud, so it's quite a woody, earthy sort of scent. I do like ouds. So that's what we're using, that's what we used tonight. So I'm pairing that up with my Wickham's coin Alpha shaving brush, which I re-knotted from what it, what it originally came with. I think I have Silver Fox in there, a synthetic, which wasn't very good. But it's now got a Magard's 28mm two band in it. As you can see, it's flaring quite nicely with a bit of use. Lewis said to me a while back that he would like to see, or he said, advised me to try uh, a timeless razor, either the bronze or the aluminium. Like me, he's got both. He got both of them after watching my videos. Sorry Lewis, and Mrs Lewis. <clears throat> so, tonight we're using the timeless bronze solid bar, which is a 0.38 blade cap. But don't let that fool you. Uh, the blade gap number defies the uh, efficiency of the razor. It's a quality razor, as you can see, mine's tarnished and lovely. And the blade we're using was one Lewis sent to me. It's a Gillette spoiler, brand new, first use. Uh, Lewis told me he had 20 shaves between the timeless aluminium and the bronze. The spoiler in, he had 20 shaves in one blade, which I can well believe. So, we're using that combination tonight. And to polish off with Boots with Chaser and Tea Tree, which is a splash, a kit of theirs, but cheaper. And I don't have the balm for this because I was too tight to buy it when it first came on the market. And as and when I replace it, I'll, I will. Probably pick the bar, the bar up. So I've got this tub of soap commander balm. Uh, soap got given away a long time ago. Uh, but I didn't have many balms at the time, so I kept that because it was quite nice. So that's what we used tonight. So we'll get lathered up and shave on. Okay, I had the brush soaking for a wee while. It's all completely dry. I haven't bloomed, bloomed it. That, in case you're wondering, is where you put like a teaspoon of water on top of it before you start lathering up. It basically so softens the top layer of the soap and just makes it easier to lather. It works well for some folks, some soaps, and some people. Each to their own. If you want to, if you want to bloom soap, bloom it. If you don't, don't. I've even bloomed Martin Decandra before. At this point people start fainting. You've done what? Madman. But hey. So. I don't know who came up with this, with this scent for this soap. Whether it was Ian at the groom room 
or Darren or both of them combined. It wouldn't be surprised if it was mainly Ian with a bit of help from Darren. But uh, I bought this soap when it was first on the day it was released. I was lucky enough to be at the uh, Scottish Wet Shavers meetup, which we've had a few of, not, not recently because of Covid. You never know, may get to do one later in the year. If things progress, I'm not holding my breath, but you never know. And uh, at that point, there was just I think there was a soap and a balm. There's now a soap, balm, and splash uh, being produced. But I've just got the soap, so I don't have the matching balm or the splash. I've got plenty of oud based EDPs. I've got at least three sitting in a drawer. The brush. With the Magard's not in it. These are very good knots for the money. Generally, know when it's going off water in, it starts going the walls, the windows, the ceiling. That'll do. Okay, timeless bronze. There's a hair. Get rid of that. <coughs> timeless bronze, solid bar with a Gillette spoiler on its first use. Lewis. Thank you very much for the blades. Anybody thinks the timeless is mild? No. It's heavy. It has a positive blade exposure. As you can see there, that's just wiped away. Four days of growth, three days of growth, a few days of growth. And that's smooth enough to go to work on. It really is. Lewis sent me this some a pack, a pack of spoil bullet blades over, and after watching a few videos, he made an investment in one of these and the timeless aluminium razor, which I've also got and used in other videos in the past. He recommended that I try. One of the two timeless with the spoiler blade. He couldn't believe how smooth a shave it was. So that's what we're doing today, basically. Lewis also likes 
Wickham sub base. He doesn't have this one, but he's got several others. He, because he's in the States, shipping to the States from the UK, it doubles the price of the soap, so it doesn't really make it that economical. That's akin to me buying PA Zingari Man from the States or anything really from the States. A tub of PA soon becomes $50, if not more, for shipping. which for me makes it uneconomical. There are a, UK, a few UK suppliers who bring the stuff in. So if you're desperate for it, you can get it. But if you saw my Choose 5 video, with the exception of Martin Decandre, they're all British. I could have easily thrown Phoenix and Ball on that list as well. Nanny Silly Soaps, not a soap you hear of much, a bit like Mike's Natural Soaps, been around for donkeys. Not a soap you hear of very often. Uh, I've got a tub of nannies in the drawer, which is probably, well I was piffed it, I was gifted it. And it was eight years old when I got it. And it brand new, one year used, and it had lost its scent. It was French lavender. I don't mind using scentless soaps. I've got a few tubs of fennel that have lost all their scent as well. There's only one that hasn't. But the uh, nanny soap is quality. So how's the bridge week going? It's Tuesday night here, but I'm probably going to release this till Wednesday morning. I'll go head to head with Paul Humphreys, see who gets the most views. I've still got an, an introduction to record. I decided not to bother today for that one. Just thought I'd, because I've got jack potatoes being baked as we speak, and they'll be ready soon, so. Time was a bit against us. Just trying to plan the week out thinking, well, Thursday night I'm playing golf, straight from work. So 
ovulate in. Five o'clock tea off, home for eight. After eighteen holes. By which point it's dark and I don't like using lights, especially the bathroom lights and the fan. So <clears throat> I'm just like, all right, we're gonna do a video, when are we gonna do one? Let's do one now. There's tea in the in the air fryer, chopped potatoes. Okay. So that's two t-shirts you've seen me in this week. Lewis told me that he had 20 plus shaves from a spoiler in the timeless razors that he's got which I can well believe uh, having used a spoiler in the past they are probably the best blade I've used second to which is probably a vintage persona which I've used in the past as well they went to double figures. There's the lather up the brush, there's plenty of that. So, face wash time and then back to the post shave. Top tip there, blot. You just dragged a sharp piece of steel over your skin. So if you've got an aggravation, you could make it worse by rubbing it. So, just blot the skin dry, you'll be ready. For your post shave, just saves a bit of aggravation. Keep it simple today with boots, tea tree and witch hazel, which is basically facial toner. With a little bit of alcohol in it, not much. It lets you know you're alive, but wasting. As I said, I don't have the balm goes with the soap. I'll pick that up down the road when I use this tub up when I replenish my stocks. So I've got soap under courage. It's it's got cedar wood in it, peppercorn, a bit of citrus. It's not matching but it is quite good balm and uh, it soaks in pretty good and the results are Again, I don't have the soap that I gave that soap away. I kept the balm because I didn't have much balm at the point. But I gave the soap away. So there we have it. Right, quick recap. Razor a day was a timeless bronze. 0.38 millimetre uh, with a giant spoiler. Crack and razor, heavy. As you can tell, I don't keep mine polished and pristine. I've just chosen to let it tarnish and look old. A bit like the owner. Tarnished and old. So, Wickham 1912, Buddha Wood, made for and exclusively available from the Gentleman's Groom Room in Dundee. Wickham Soap Base, one of my favourites. Uh, the scenting on this soap is fantastic. It really is. The brush was it's an Alpha Shaving Wickham, it's got a Wickham coin in the bottom. It was a limited edition. 
with a 28mm Magard tube under it that I put together because it had a crappy fibre knot in it. So that got pulled and that went in. Lovely brush, I'm just polished off there with some witch hazel and tea tree and sub commander courage. That's it folks. <sighs> Time for tea. Jack of potatoes and uh, in case you're interested I'm having tuna, cheese and onion with a bit of sweet chilli mayonnaise. So that's what I've got to look forward to. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Any comments leave them below. Bye for now.